Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dominations TV. My name is Adam, and today I am going to be opening a bunch of, well, a bunch of artifacts, okay? I've got almost 7,000 um, fragments saved up, and I think that it'd be pretty interesting to take, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes and open them up. That way you guys can get a feel for the odds of what's dropping nowadays. And, uh, you know, maybe we can get a nice war upgrade, but uh, not too confident in that because I haven't seen anything, anything too good drop in a very long time. Um, but nevertheless, we will give it a go. So uh, let me just start off by saying that I have been pretty inactive in dominations, and that certainly reflects in the amount of content that I've been posting on the channel. Now, I have been keeping, like, the necessities going. So, you know, Hannibal, finishing up heavy tank research, um, you know, kind of keeping things rolling at the same time, clearing forests, but I've been a very stagnant player with a very stagnant base. Um, I've got my SAMs upgraded, my silo, I know I've got to do my air defenses, um, but it's kind of tough to find the loot when you're not playing very often at all. Um, but, so that's a little bit of an insight into what I've been up to. You know, I'm going through a phase where I'm playing a different game right now called Castle Crush. You may have seen me post a video about it on the channel. Um, you know, I'd encourage you guys to, to check it out. I always said that I would play a different game if I could find one that was better than Dominations. And guys, I finally found one that I'm liking more. I'm liking it more. I'm having way more fun with that game. And um, if that rubs you the wrong way, my apologies. But uh, I hope that it doesn't discourage you from, from staying subscribed and uh, staying posted because I will continue to post more content of Dominations. And it's important to note that one thing that used to hold me back big time in the past was that my internet was 12 megabytes per second download, okay, and like a one megabyte per second upload. Posting a five minute video, a 10 minute video of dominations literally would take like hours and I wouldn't be able to use my phone for the entire time. So it was kind of just, I never really wanted to upload. It was such an annoying, annoying, tedious process. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy to say that I have moved to a new city, a different state. I have very fast internet now, so we are rocking and rolling. So let's get started. All right, I may end up speeding things up a little bit um, because I know that this is going to be tedious, but let's do it. So what we're looking for, I'm a defensive base, so we're looking pretty much strictly for... Um, for war artifacts that uh, give me some strong defensive perks. I've already got some good stuff, so it, it, it is going to be tough um, to find something that is even better than what I already have, but, you know, let's see. So nothing so far. All right, guys, just stay along for the ride with me. Maybe this is uh, interesting to watch. I hope so. It's going to be a little bit weird to commentate over this. Just because uh, there's not going to be too many high points, if you will. There's not going to be too much to kind of go over. Um... Until, uh, until there is stuff to go over. But uh, I think it's going to be few and far between. Sell all that crap. Leave me a comment if I accidentally scrap something that I should have kept. Sometimes you go into autopilot with this stuff. And it uh, can be tough to, to keep track of every single uh, artifact. So a little update, I do now have Hold the Gates, um, can't tell you how many crowns I spent to get that. And uh, I wouldn't spend money, 
I would just do, you know, I, I, it's not like I was that, I remember I was in a group chat for Dominations and huge chat with tons and tons of players. And I remember one day, this was months ago, but somebody was like, yeah, I just spent like $600 <laughs> to get hold the gates from um, basically zero to a hundred. And uh, that's not what I did. I played the long haul. I uh, kept it running for, wait, yeah, here we go. I, I kept grinding hold the gates for, you know, quite a while, just slowly churning and burning. Um, but then when double crown offers would come along, I would try to do as many as I could and, you know, rack up maybe 10,000 crowns, 15,000 crowns. Um, and every time I would get those, I would uh, spend them on my university on hold the gates. And it was just something that I aspired to achieve since, you know, I first started in wars a couple of years ago. Um, I think it's, it's kind of a, um, a destination, if you will, for, for a lot of players. Um, it's kind of like a, an end goal, if you will, for, for tons and tons of people to get hold of gates. And so I spent all of my crowns to get there. And once I got there, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I kind of got, you know, I, I kind of felt like, oh my gosh, now there's nothing really to play for. Um, you know what I mean? Kind of lost that drive because I had achieved my biggest goal in the game, um, which I, I didn't really see coming. Maybe I was naive, but I didn't really expect it to go that way. And I remember when uh, these war artifacts were introduced to the game, you know, it kind of muddied up the water in terms of how important hold the gates really is. You know, of course, it's a it's a extremely important um, milestone to achieve and it's going to give you a huge advantage over players that uh, do not have hold the gates but it's way less of an advantage as it as it was prior to all of these artifacts that influence the numbers in the game and spawn times and you know everything so um, I feel like it's it's definitely less Im I, w I mean I would I would say it's it's probably less important now to have hold the gates than it was before all of these artifacts got brought into war. Um, and, you know, I think... I, I, I don't know. I like this system. I think it, it's fun. It's going to make the game a little bit more sticky, if you will, for its players. Um you know, having this type of RNG system in the game, you know, it hits the dopamine receptors, it, it keeps you wanting to keep grinding and, you know, making attacks to, to hoard, you know, some art, some, uh, what are they called, fragments, you know what I mean? It, it gives you mo more motivation to play because you're always trying to, to win the RNG battle of getting a great artifact, um, and, and I, I appreciate that, you know, I, I'm susceptible to all that, that whole RNG dopamine triggering uh, reality that the vast majority of video games are in nowadays. You know, it's a system that's very common um, because developers and, you know, directors of game studios understand that by having that type of system in the game, it's going to drive a lot more of engagement and, you know, engagement equals dollars when it comes to this stuff. So it's, it's you know, a lot of profit being, being brought into the studios when they implement these types of RNG, you know, um, gambling kind of like reward systems. Uh, and I... I'd be a little bit hypocritical to say that I hate them and I don't think they should be in the game. Um, but I can say that I don't think that this game necessarily needed all this. It it adds a layer of variability that wasn't in the game in the past. Um, and, I, you know, it has its pros and cons, but, you know, what are your guys' thoughts on that, on on this new system? You know, it's been around for a while now. And I, I, I'm just kind of curious 
how you guys are all taking to it because oh i just spent a sh wait did i just spend crowns? <laughs> i think i just spent crowns on this one whatever so as you can see six thousand artifacts spent almost seven thousand and uh nothing literally got nothing um maybe you guys saw some stuff that you would have loved to have but i didn't see anything too sexy to me so i'm not really sure what to tell you guys i think this is just uh it's a crapshoot man it's it's kind of bs i don't know not you know what i mean like come on how many did i just open you got to get at least something decent out of that you know that's weeks of saving up but Anyways, that's a wrap. Let me know if you want me to post more domination stuff. Give me ideas for videos. I will listen. I will post. I have great internet now. It doesn't. It's not such a huge investment of time. Um, you know, if if you guys are itching for some new content, if you want maybe some of the simpler questions answered, if you're a new player or whatever, let me know. Let me know if you like the video. If you like domination's content, let me know. Hit that like button. Um, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe. There's always more coming. Um, I know sometimes they're few and far between, but uh, that's kind of the, the nature of the beast, if you will. Always going through phases, but, uh, you know, this is kind of my baseline, Dominations. It's a great game. It's been there for years now, and, uh, you know, the progress isn't going to end, so rest assured. And like I said, if you need videos, let me know. Shoot me a comment. Shoot me a message, and... Uh, I'll see what I can do for you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for staying in tune with, uh, with the channel. I really appreciate it, and we will see you in the next one. Have a great night. Have a great day. Have a blessed week. Take care.